Hello, this is David from Geek This. Today I'm going to show you how MIDI controllers work. So on the screen you can see this uh, MPD-18. It's just a drum pad. And then I wrote a simple application, MIDI.exe. So the device appears going through the Windows API MIDI uh, library. And when I press a key, it shows the key that's pressed. And when I let go, it shows that key that's released. This specific MIDI controller has incrementing keys, which most of them do. So 26, 27, 28, 29, 2A, 2B, C, D, etc. And each bank then incre increments more. I then have this fader, which has this little bar on that goes. And then if you press space, you see the actual data that the computer is processing. So how MIDI works is it goes through a USB interface. Sometimes it goes through FireWire and MIDI inputs through PCI. The computer MIDI driver then gets the timestamp, gets the action or the MIDI status, and then it has two extra parameters. So I'm going to quickly tap that key. So we see 95, which is key pressed, 44, which is the pressure, and 7F, which is the velocity. The velocity is in decimal 127 because I had full level on. So if I do it at a lower velocity, 36, 13, and 7F because I did it really fast. We can then see when we adjust the, f or we now have 85, which is when a key is released. And then the second one, which I believe is pressure. So yeah, it is. Because when I applied more pressure, so I'll start from low pressure to high pressure. And you can see it got incremented up to 127 or 0x47 hexadecimal. No, 4.7 isn't the max. 7.f is. There we go. That's the max. Yeah. So if I switch the screens again, I'm just doing that by pressing space. We can see the fader control, which is B5 for channel 2 fader. Uh, I don't know what the second parameter is, but or the first parameter, but the second parameter is a va is the value. So it goes from 0 up to 127. Most of these go to 0 to 127 when you're processing MIDI controls. And then the program just interprets this to play music or a note or whatever. So I could have my fader set to volume. So I'll decrease volume to 0 and then I would increase it up to 100%. Or in this case, 127, because that's how MIDI goes through. Then I can have multiple keys pressed. Then I can release them all. And then each key will be a different note, and it will say, Okay, notes on. Play music. When notes released, stop playing that music file. And then it could go, it could use the velocity and pressure to increase the volume or pitch of the music. Or it could even increase the speed if you have it set up like that. So that's how MIDI somewhat works inside of Windows 7. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and check out our other videos below. This has been David from GeekThisNet, and until next time, goodbye.